You already know what it is. It's your boy Lay Back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, Nukes Top 5. You up the bat. Bah. Bitch, I'm drowning up in it. Most of you niggas is lazy. Half of you niggas full gazy. Yeah, I be spitting that crack shit. Cause I was born in the eight. It's your boy Lay Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. Appreciate time, appreciate life in 2021. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with all the videos, man. Before we get into this reaction, man, I need you to send this to one of your friends, man. Share this with just one of your friends. Just one, if you can. Also, I need you to drop with you in the chat if you with me. You already know what's up, man. But well, we back with another news top five. This is top five scary ghost videos that will make your daddy leave home. <sighs> Let's go ahead and get into it. Fire Squad. Let's get it. Top five ghosts caught on camera. The Magnolia Hotel. The Magnolia Hotel in Seguin, Texas is said to be extremely haunted by multiple ghosts. The hotel was built in 1840 and over its 180 year history, many people have passed away inside its walls some Man. even taking their own lives. The current owners of the hotel, Jim and Aaron Getty, claim to have experienced intense paranormal activity while living there, and many of the hotel guests have captured ghostly images of spirits Ooh, that haunt what? the hotel. One of the most active spirits in the hotel is said to be that of a 12-year-old girl named Emma. Oddly enough, Emma never even stayed in the Magnolia Hotel, oh. but the man who violently took her life did live there. In 1874, a man named Wilhelm Faust horribly ended little Emma's life using an axe. What? Wilhelm was still staying at the Magnolia Hotel when he was caught and executed for his crime. It is said that both the angry spirit of Wilhelm and the gentle child ghost Emma are both forever trapped inside the Magnolia Hotel. Paranormal investigators Colin and Peyton from the YouTube channel The Paranormal Files travel to the Magnolia Hotel to do an investigation at the allegedly oh. haunted inn. They experience something truly bizarre. bizarre. Send that thing next to my son here. Do you have some firework? Yeah, there is. That's not a gun. Where that old ass? They went to go stay in that old ass hotel. Look at that shit. Is it vacant? That's a gun. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Coming from literally right there. They hear the unexplained sounds of knocking and possible gunfire while exploring the hotel rooms. However, it's what they didn't hear at the time that is absolutely chilling. I'm gonna sit down for a second too before we go to the unfinished part. I'll kill the lights. Yeah. Kill the light. Guys, I know. I know it's kind of boring. Guys, I know. I know it's kind of guys I know. The voice of what sounds like a young girl can be heard saying the eerie word, mommy. Now, if that wasn't creepy enough, the owners of the Magnolia Hotel actually caught what they believe to be the same young girl, little Emma, on one of their static cameras. The camera is set up in the room where the ghost of Emma has reportedly been seen and heard the most. They call it the quote, children's room. One day they leave a bunch of balls and toys for Emma to play with. And then this happens. Bro, I'm getting chills like a motherfucker. Balls on the floor mysteriously seem to just start rolling around on their own. But what's most bizarre about this footage is the strange shadow figure that follows right after the unexplained movement. Chills? Could it be that the spirit of little Emma is playing with the toys? 
Is the Magnolia Hotel haunted by the ghosts of the people who lost their lives inside its walls? Let me know what you think down in the comments. You can watch Colin and Peyton's entire investigation over on the YouTube channel, The Paranormal Files. And you can find more spooky evidence and photos over on the Magnolia Hotel's Facebook page. Viewer Videos in this next segment, I'm very happy to feature some extremely creepy videos that were sent to me directly via email by Nuke's Top 5 viewers. First up, this video was sent in by Dex, who claims that one of his friends has been going on apartment viewings in the hopes of finding a new place to live. His friend recorded one of the empty apartments so he could look back at the footage later to help him decide. When he reviews his footage, he is shocked by what he finds. Did you see it? While recording, Dex's friend thinks he sees something out of the corner of his eye. A dark shadow-like figure standing at the end of the hallway. But when he pans back, nothing there. So did Dex's friend capture a ghost on camera? And could it be that the apartment is empty for a reason? I leave it up to you to decide. This next video was emailed to me by Connor from Corpus Christi, Texas. In his email, he explains that his cousin is awakened in the middle of the night when a stranger suddenly approaches his ring doorbell. The doorbell what? camera records as things take a very creepy turn. Bro, stop ringing the doorbell. Hey guys. I swear to you, in all my life, I swear I mean you no harm. No, please, I mean you no harm. Doggy. So can, can you please come outside and let me know I'm alive? I don't, I don't know what's going on. No, God. I'm gonna live. I'm gonna live. I swear I'm gonna live. Because someone's in here. Please, guys, please come outside, please. Ah, oh, no, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. The man who rang the doorbell is odd and erratic as he pleads for them to open the door and let him inside. Understandably, they don't answer the door, and the man eventually walks away defeated, loudly yelling, I'm not dead. Connor's cousin has no idea what happened to the man, and the scary event remains a mystery. But I'd guess some chemical substances were probably involved. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a that ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Visits to the funeral home. Chinese ghost hunter and popular live streamer Xiao Long is back with another scary adventure at a creepy abandoned funeral home in Jinjiao City, China. Local legend says that restless souls unable to move on after their deaths have found themselves trapped inside the funeral home, eternally doomed to haunt the lonely abandoned building forever. Locals say the home is cursed. But as always, none of that stops our boy Xiao Long. He travels to the abandoned funeral home completely alone. He's as he's crazy. exploring outside the building, he stumbles upon an old abandoned hearse that was once used to transport bodies. What happens next is truly bizarre. <laughs> That shit opened up? <gasps> oh, <what? gasps> oh, <what's> <laughs> 
我我我我去你妈！ Xiaolong fans love the creepy live stream and demand that he return to the haunted funeral home for yet another visit. Fuck that! As always, he broadcasts his investigation live as he explores a different area of the building. As you might suspect, it did not go well. Hey, I'm fucking you, man! I'm fucking you, man! Ah, ah, ah! 他妈的，这是放尸体了！我操 ！What？ 啊啊啊啊 ！Oh shit！ 我操！这里！啊啊啊啊啊啊啊 ！Bro， you gotta leave. You gotta leave. Bro， you gotta leave. 我去！ Xiaolong is horrified when he discovers that the area was actually used to store human bodies. Even though he's starting to freak out a bit, he returns to the crematorium carrying what he says is a protective amulet. Bro, he finds that. an old oven, and that's when he sees something absolutely oh, no. horrifying. Oh shit! Oh my god! A terrifying pale face seems to rise up through the oven's air vent and then disappears back into the darkness. Could this be one of the souls that are said to be trapped inside the funeral home? I leave it to you to decide. You can watch this entire exploration and many more creepy videos over on Xiaolong's YouTube channel, Outdoor Xiaolong. Meanwhile, on TikTok, TikTok user Michael says that he started experiencing terrifying paranormal activity in his home after he played around with a Ouija board at a friend's house. He says that he believes that he might have accidentally summoned a demonic entity that followed him home. Oh my god! In an attempt god. to record himself and explain what's been going on. He's interrupted by something very creepy. So I've had a lot of weird stuff been happening lately, and I I can't. Hello. A child's voice can be heard, yet Michael claims he has no children. He says he doesn't know where the mysterious voice could have possibly come from. So Michael decides to set up static cameras all around his home in the hopes of capturing more proof of the paranormal activity that has been terrorizing him. When he looks back at the footage from his kitchen camera, he's shocked. Whoa! Michael and his girlfriend Heather decide to do another Ouija board session. This time to try to get answers as to what is going on. What But the fuck wrong with these people? But things take a terrifying turn. What the fuck? Hey. Here. Oh my god. Come back, come back, come back. Oh my god, I don't need this one. I don't need this one. I'm freaked out now. <laughs> no. I don't know. He said, I don't know. He said, I don't know. Was that upstairs? They on some bullshit. Oh, oh my God! No. Oh, 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 oh. Something violently crashes to the ground right next to Heather, and then they both hear a loud sound coming from upstairs. 
when they look up the staircase, someone or something that they can't see comes charging down the stairs at them. So is Michael's house haunted by a demonic entity? Drop your thoughts down in the comments. TikTok user Roche Bananas is working the night shift as a security guard on a reservation in Saskatchewan, Canada, when she and her co-worker see something very strange. When we work night security 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. and we see something coming at us at midnight. Who is it? What the fuck? Really? <laughs> TikTok user Roche Bananas claims she has no idea what she recorded that night and is pretty spooked by the creepy encounter. Many concerned TikTok viewers believe that it could be anything from a skinwalker uh, to Bigfoot to a ghost. But what do you think it is? Is it real or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You decide. The Eternal Bride. All of the residents of Culiacan in Sinaloa, Mexico know of the story of Lupita, the Eternal Bride. The story goes that back in the early 1950s, a young woman named Lupita was engaged to be married to her childhood sweetheart, Jesus. The bride-to-be and her fiancé were both friends with a man named Ernesto, who was hopelessly in love with Lupita. But Lupita had no romantic interest at all in Ernesto. Ernesto was driven mad by his jealousy, and on the wedding day, he took the life of Lupita's husband-to-be as she watched on in horror. Ernesto wow. then took his own life. Lupita was so traumatized by the event that she never recovered and just completely lost touch with reality. Every Damn. Sunday for the next 30 years, Lupita would dress in her wedding gown and walk to the church cathedral in town. After her death in 1982, she was buried and it is said that she aimlessly roams the cemetery grounds still in her wedding dress to this day. A paranormal investigator from Mexico who happens to share the name Ernesto from the YouTube channel Zona Paranormal Veracruz is joined by his friends and fellow investigators El Payaso de la Toledo and Lorena Jacobo. Together they explore the cemetery late at night. They hear strange unexplained sounds all around them and then this happens. Hey. Muéstrate, Lupita. Te pido que te muestres. Ya te vi. Oh, I saw you show yourself. Ya jalaste energía. You've taken some energy. Es cierto, yo me llamo Ernest. A la madre, payaso, 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 payaso. Ahí, güey. Ahí, ahí, ahí se asomó. Yo me llamo Ernesto. Como el, 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 que, el que asesinó a tu esposo. Oh, Así se llamaba crazy. el que asesinó a tu esposo. ¿Estás enojada porque me llamo como él? No quepo ahí. Claro. A ver, voy a ver. Voy a ver si, si quepo otra vez. Ahí va. De lado, ponte que A ver. A ver. They taunt her. Espérame, espérame, espérame. Espérame, 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 espérame. Espérame, espérame. Ay, güey. Ay, Ernesto. Damn, he can't even fit through there and shit. Look, he can't even fit through there. 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 Look, he can't even fit through Algo me jaló la, la mochila. Payaso, algo, algo, algo me jaló la mochila, güey. He like, what the fuck? He like, yo, what the fuck? Para la toma. Está enojada conmigo. Me jalaron la espalda. Me jalaron la espalda, güey. Me jalaron la espalda. Me jalaron la espalda. Hombre, es payaso. Ernesto is broadcasting live on Facebook when he spots someone appear and disappear near one of the graves. They hurry over to investigate, but Ernesto gets stuck in between two tombs. In a shocking turn, Ernesto feels someone or something pulling him back. And then, did you see it? What? Right behind Payaso, another mysterious apparition can be seen lurking what? behind the tomb. Now again, this is a live stream broadcast. The figure is spotted by the viewing audience, but the two investigators are completely unaware of what they've just captured. They continue their exploration. No, no, no. Vamos a buscar a Lorena, 
Payaso caminó aquí enfrente, güey. Caminó aquí enfrente, güey. Caminó aquí enfrente, cabrón. La, la agarré, la agarré, la agarré, la agarré, la agarré, la agarré, la agarré. La agarré, la agarré, la agarré, la agarré. La agarré, la agarré, la agarré. La agarré, güey, la agarré, la agarré. Ay, 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 ay. La rodilla, la rodilla, güey. La rodilla, la rodilla. Lore, vamos a ver a Lore, güey. Vamos a buscar a Lore. Va, vamos, vamos a buscarla. Lore, sigue mandando saludos. Sí, eh, estás mandando, estás en vivo todavía. Sí. Ahí está Lorena y está en vivo, señores. Lo, lo que vimos, vimos a la novia. Yo también. La agarramos. Sí, pero yo también la estoy viendo y la gente también aquí eh, eh, eh. Es que es que dicen que, que me puede seguir porque yo me llamo como el que mató a su esposo. Sí. Me jalaron la mochila. Había un lugar donde no, donde no cabía. Uh -huh. Y me jalaron la mochila. A ver, les voy a enfocar para que vean que Lore sigue en línea. Aquí estoy yo. A ver, miren. Aquí estoy. Lore. See in vivo. The guy see an apparition that appears to be wearing a long white dress. They oh. quickly go to find fellow investigator Lorena, who's broadcasting her own live stream in a different area of the cemetery. She explains that she too saw the figure of what appeared to be Lupita, the lonely bride. Now, as I mentioned, this stream was live, so it would be very hard to fake. But what do you think? Let me know down below. You can check out more of Ernesto's creepy live streams over on his YouTube channel. Yo, that's Zona crazy. Zona Paranormal Veracruz. Thanks for watching. All right, that was top five scary ghost videos that would make your daddy leave home. That was crazy. That was one of the craziest ones I've seen so far, man. You talking about chills all over your body type? Crazy. On a live stream? If you made it to the end and I need you to draw a real one in the chat, you already know what's up. Like I said, share this with one of your friends. Share this video with one of your friends, bruh. Till next time, self-love and positivity. Fire Squad, I got you and you know it. Hey.